Ready camera action. Welcome back to another episode of ATV. Special delivery hot off the press. Rip the shit out of that box I did with excitement. Better get you guys in on it before we go any further. The new fire mounting halos, the new controversial fire mounting halos for the 2023 Can-Am Renegades and Outlanders, by the way. Obviously, they've got the same headlights, right? So, and also the rear halos for their prototype lights. Well, actually, I guess they're not prototypes anymore. They are available on the website. So check it out at farmhunting.com. We've got some work to do. I also got to get them back on my 18, which is up for sale, as some of you guys know. Generally pretty straightforward, pretty easy procedure when it comes to these because they're basically uh, the way I do it, plug and play. That is the uh, the front ones, right? And they're just peel and stick. They got the 3M adhesive on the back. We have ourselves a pair of the rear look pretty kick-ass eh yeah right on because last but not least we have our set of rock lights in here they all pair into the same bluetooth box so one runs all right that's good so you're not searching for multiple apps or or trying to get connected you know i'm not that uh, internet savvy but i'm able to manipulate these things with the old phone a lot of times i just set it and forget it they'll rock one color because i don't i'm not really into playing with little gadgets but they do look very cool especially when it comes to photographing your ride it gives a little more pop so yeah, rock lights, good to go. Kit of four of these. And they also supply four rock light mounting brackets, which the two up front, I don't use the brackets and the rear, I do use the brackets. Um, because of the location and the way the angle, I've always felt like this works great. I like uh, utilizing the inner plastic fender. And then in the rear, I always use the fender support, right? So very simple as well. You've got tons of space around these lights. So running these wires inside is going to be no problem. So we're gonna have to get the old dielect grease out and uh, we give a dab. You don't have to overdo it, just a dab into, into your connectors and you're good to go. And we're just gonna wire this up to the battery. There they are. And my cutters. Set those right there. Get a nice exposed piece of it. Yep. That room, probably. Okay. That's what I figured. Definitely an easier process. If I'm thinking about that looks cool. When you double it off, it looks way better. Right out. Gaps are a little bit different. Put the around through the hole. Take a look at the wires. I gotta get the sweater off. I have to put them. Come on back through here, and then you're going to come on up through here, right? The other side, we're going to kind of repeat the, the same process and then come up to this access hole. This corner back here, we've used this access hole, and over here, we'll utilize this access hole. Mm -hmm. All right, so what I do for my brackets at the back is I literally just bend them over what they give me, drill them out a little bit bigger, and then I utilize these two holes and just fold it over, right? That's all there is to it. We'll get her uh, wired up and we still have to drill and pull the uh, two front ones into the plastic. installed we just gotta repeat on the same and then on the other side and uh, we'll be good to go the rock lights in there looking pretty good those are all run wires are all fed everything up under the seat I'm um, hoping we got good clearance here we still have to take the negative and the positive but that's it right we're down to that throwing the fuse in and seeing what she does so uh, bear with me here pretty sure everything is uh, Hooked up. Did we forget to plug anything in? I don't think so. Let's give her a try. She had a set of rear halos. Kicking. Rock lights looking good. Uh, yeah. 
There we go. Perfect. He's looking pretty sweet, boys. The wheels are on. Rock lights are all wired up. Oh wow, they are very cool, man. Uh, they remind me of a retro digital age Tron, you know, like. I just got clotheslined by that one. <laughs> oh, did that hit you? Oh, wow, that was impressive. You've always got a buddy at Jim Thompson Chrysler. See you on the trail, boy. <laughs>